Okay, so I'm officially the world's biggest idiot. If someone tells you to go underground, you have to think of where underground is. There's only one place that I know of that's underground so far in this game. So I don't know why I never thought to go there in the first place. Jeez. Like, I mean, the underground palace, like, come on, did I get my thing infused here yet? I think I got an orb and I haven't gotten it fused yet. Uh, let's see. Uh, one of these should be ready. Yeah, the spike knuckle, okay, because we got the, like, what was it, the glove orb? Let's forge it. Now we got the power glove. Seriously, the pa- <laughs> That's awesome. I love the power glove. It's so bad. Yeah, well, uh, just keep your power gloves off her, pal, huh? Oh, my God. I want to see if that's actually good for anyone right now. Uh, let's see if it'll upgrade any of their attacks. Uh, where, wait, where the hell is it? There it is. I see it. Uh, 30 to 25, so no. And what about you? But it's you, Sydney. Uh, 31 to 31. I think I will switch then, just, uh... Actually, no, I think I want to keep her on the shock rom because... Then at least we have a ranged weapon. But it's good to know I have the ability to switch if I need to. Alright, yeah, so like I said, a bunch of you guys told me to go underground, or like hinted to go underground, because Luca told me to go to the underground palace, so I guess that's... I don't, I don't know why I never thought of that myself. I guess I just thought like, okay, I've explored that underground area so much already, that there can't possibly be anything new for me to do there. But lo and behold... Cause like I remember her saying something about like you have to like clear out the freaking like lava in the underground palace or something, and I thought I already cleared the lava down here. But I guess there's more lava that I have to find. Is it in that cave down there? No, that's where I first found the uh, edge, isn't it? It's probably out in the big labyrinthine cave system, not in the actual village. Uh, or maybe not. This looks different. Uh, did I did I miss this? Or was this always here? Crazy, man. Alright, well, I'm guessing I have to cast my magic on that thing, then. Just which spell? That's my question. Let's see, um... Can I cast... Ice Saber on it, maybe? Let's see. No. Or maybe I have to cast Ice Saber on, like, one of us, and then... Freaking... I don't even know. How about Edge? Can Edge do it? Let's see, your magic. Um... Freeze? There we go, freeze the crystal orb, yeah. I guess I should have come naturally, but... BAM! Oh, by the way, off-screen, as I was working my way back here, uh, Edge leveled up to 11, and I think Sydney's skill level up with the boomerang, too. Alright, so here we go, underground palace time. Is this, like, another dungeon, I guess? Or is it, like, our first, more practical dungeon? I don't even know. All I know is that these guys are carrying mighty axes, and I gotta get... And I want, dude, that guy's throwing a boomerang at me. I didn't even see him. I thought they, all, I thought they were all like the same enemy. Crazy. Oh, she reached level 12. Yay. Mm, I suppose I should be using my magic because, like, I remember, uh, what was your name? Pixcalibur. You're the one. You keep leaving a bunch of like useful stuff in the comments of these videos. Uh, you said that I should probably focus on leveling up my magic quite a bit because I'm going to need to. So I think I guess I'll do that. And also, uh. Someone talked about how, like, the... Wait, I'm looking at the wrong person. How the... Yeah, I'll just cast it on... The goblin. How, like, the magic damage, if you use... Magic... If you use magic on, like, multiple enemies at once, it gets, like, all weird. Like, the algorithm is weird or something. Oh, he's using cure water, too. What an asshole. I only have, like, cure water level zero. Oh, I reached level 12, too. What do you know? Not too long after Sydney. Uh, I'm guessing I'd have to cast, like, freeze on that thing or something. The thing is, I want to be kind of careful with casting too much magic here. What the hell? Am I seriously fighting a giant chess piece? Oh my god, it's Harry Potter all over again. Oh my. <laughs> that would make a lot more sense if I'd actually LP'd Harry Potter in the past. Wow, that guy went down easy. Well, he didn't go down easy because, like, he had took a lot of HP of damage, but... He didn't really fight back at all. Yeah, I'm not dealing with you guys anymore. Oh no! I should just freeze them, I guess. I don't know. That'd probably be the best plan of attack here. Um, let's see what this does. Not sure what that did, actually. 
It like froze the screen for a second, but. Hmm. Well, oh, there's another one of these night dudes. Uh, I think, I don't know if the last one had like a horn on its face though. Probably didn't, I was just too unobservant. No, you, crap. Come on, kick his ass. Why is, why is this one not going down easier? Let me charge up an attack and see if that does better. Speed up level 2. Uh-oh. Chest knights. Oh my god. Well, you're going to die now. Oh man, I missed. That totally hit. What are you talking about? Something I've kind of noticed is like those knights along with like the polter chairs or whatever they were from before. They like disappear in a different... like they, When you kill them, they disappear in a different way than normal enemies. They like have this weird like gusty thing. I guess that's just for possessed or ghosty enemies or something. I don't know. Alright, so maybe for uh, doing that. Yeah, see, there we go. We got rid of the torch. Hmm. Uh-oh. Do we got a switch puzzle? Let's see. Oh, I guess not. Or if it was, it was the easiest one of all time. Good lord. Gotta step up your game. Hmm. I kind of just feel like casting Ice Saber and freezing all these guys and just running past them, but... I suppose I need the experience, don't I? You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to cast, uh, since I haven't done it yet... Let's try, and, let's try this acid storm thing. Uh, I'll use it on Ma Goblin, I guess. Why not? Let's see what happens. Oh, she leveled her boomerang up again. Holy crap. I don't think... I think I someone killed it before we got a chance to cast it. Either, or I just didn't notice it. Probably the latter. Because you know how unobservant I am. Alright, this looks familiar, so I think I know what to do here. Uh, You must whip it. Like Majora or something, man. No? But there's like this this whip thing here. Can I go down? Huh. Is there any... Oh, there we go. Okay, I don't know why that wasn't working before. But okay. Gotta at least remember to switch back to my sword every time. Otherwise, I'm probably gonna regret it later on. Alright, uh-oh. How are we doing on HP? I was just... I don't know. I tend, in this game, since, like, the HP and all that stuff is at the bottom of the screen, I tend not to look down there too much, since all the action is everywhere else on the screen. So, I kind of don't notice a lot of the time when I'm getting low on HP. So, pardon me if I ever, like, make explicit mention of the HP, even though I really shouldn't. Let's see. Man, that was, that was just sleeping on the job. You know, like, it's the frickin' Knights of Sidonia or something. Oh, I'm gonna get so lost in this place. Can I actually do anything with these torches? Like, can I freeze them like I thought I could? I don't even know. I should probably be trying if I'm not sure, but... I just don't want to, like, waste any MP if it doesn't really do anything. Ow! <laughs> he got his ass kicked, but not after he kicked my ass a little bit, too. Right, I'm just going to try this just to see if it actually is the case. Let's see. So I'm going to cast uh, Freeze on all of the enemies and see how much damage that does. I just want to see if it's like... Because like he said that... Uh, yeah, the damage gets... It, that was kind of pitifully weak. Um, yeah, so it does get spread kind of unevenly. But they also said that with like the healing magic that it gets that that gets spread evenly between all your characters, just not the combat magic. Ooh, a chest. Who'd have thunk it? I probably should have got Sydney to open that in case it was a trap because she has the highest HP right now. But oh well, oh well. Howdy, sir. Go! Oh my God, does she like spawn those goblins? I guess that would make sense because she is a maw goblin, isn't she? Which means, I guess, is she, like, giving birth in the field? Good lord. Alright, Sydney, I kind of need your, uh, healing ability right now. Let's see. Got some cure water here, right? Yeah. Uh, there we go. That's the ticket. Yeah, buddy. Oh my god, even for, like, was that level zero? I could, I wasn't even paying attention. It should be level zero, because I haven't used that even once so far. What in the world, man? Alright, let's just go, you guys. Come on. Forget those butt munches. This is the stage room. What? what the, huh? Since when? <laughs> it's like Pinocchio's midget brother. We gnomes are, won't allow it. What a windbag, little brat. 
Kick his ass, Edge. Take this. This is an outrage. Uh-oh. Oh, that wasn't you doing that? I thought you triggered something because you were getting mad at us. Look, back there. What the... How do we even... What? <laughs> okay, I get... Oh, oh my god, I've got to... I better use... No, freaking Edge is dead. All right, but that's okay because I have Cups of Wishes because I stocked up at the store beforehand. All right, I don't suppose if I get Sydney and cast Ice Saber that that'll make us like do any more damage or anything. Uh, let's see. Cause this guy seems to be fire based. La yeah, Lava Wave level four. Ow, that's probably gonna hurt quite a bit. Okay, no. Okay. Shoot, Sydney's dead. Um, this guy's gonna really kick my ass. <laughs> All right, let's just keep our heads, keep our head about me, keep my head about me. And Edge, can you cast your magic while he's like invisible like this? Let's see. Uh, I guess not. So let's just wait for him to reappear. Uh, here we go. Okay, Edge, you got this. This is your time to shine, man, with your uh, freezy spell. Let's go. How much MP? I still have five MP. So that's good. Fire Gigos. Or Gigos. Or Gigas. No, what the hell? Alright, see, that seems to do quite a bit of damage. And Argon sees. And Edge sees the Reaper. Oh my god. Okay, so that's why I was controlling Sydney there. I was like, what? Did I switch? Alright, actually, I probably should have revi prioritized reviving Edge first. Thank god I have it. another one. But that's all my freaking things, so. Now I want to control Argon here. Let's see. Ah, shoot. Shoot, man. I'm going to go ahead and use some candy on Sydney, I think. Okay, let's see. Come on, reappear, dude, you stupid fire gate. There you go. Now taste the... Now, let's see. I think I'm going to use Acid Storm on him, because it's got... It costs more MP, so you figure it'd be more powerful, right? Exploder? Oh, that's, that's a defense down spell. Oh, that's why it didn't do any damage when I used it before. Damn. Okay, well, at least that should make our uh, melee attacks do more damage, even though those aren't doing shit anyways. Uh, let's see. Did I hit him with that? I charged up my thing to, like, level 2, but I don't know if I hit him. I want to keep Sydney alive for sure. I'm also going to try and keep myself alive here. Uh, Edge is kind of out of MP, and I don't have anything to restore that right now. I probably should have tried to find something. Alright, that's it for Edge, I think. Yep. Holy crap, I'm so screwed. <laughs> uh, let's see. Die! Oh my god. There is no way. I have to... He seems to be so much more susceptible to the freezy magic, and I can't... Oh, no. No! Oh my god, I thought I was dead. Alright, I've got it. I'm gonna use this. My last candy here. I do have some chocolate left still, though, so... God, this is scary when he goes into that fireball motion. It's like the freaking, uh... What is it? The Yellow Devil in Mega Man? Except not nearly as... Actually, it's, it's pretty much the same amount of threatening. Yeah. That's going to make me so depressed every time I read that. Oh my god. Did that really just happen? <laughs> well, I can't say I was surprised. Look how clunky he was. He was so big and muscular and all this gobbledygook. Oh my god. Alright, so I think I'm going to just meet you guys back there. Crap. Okay, guys, I'm back for my one last Adams Family good go at this freaking boss fight here. I've healed up everyone. Everyone's at full health. Edge has full MP. Uh, I used Sydney's Cure Water a few times to heal up, so she's not exact. But I think I have enough food to offset what she doesn't, what she can't do. At least I hope so, because here comes whatever happens here. I, I still, I guess we just go through the door. But all right, come on. All right, well, so you're gonna start off the smart way here. Edge, you freeze him. 
Come on. Look at his happy ass. He's like, Ugh. I can't tell if you're hurt or smiling or whatever. Alright. Man, his edge already, like, falling down. That's so silly. Alright, uh, can... Does Sid Sydney should have enough for... Yeah, she has enough for one more cure water, I guess. Now is any good as time, Eddie. Alright, let's see. Alright, you get back here, mister. Turn back into yourself. Yeah, get out of your firefly mode. I th I'm almost thinking it might be a good idea to cast Acid Rain, though, but I really don't want to chance something like that. Because I don't know, melee attacks even after that seem to not do much. If really anything. Alright. So I think I'm just going to keep freezing. I've got three more freezes left in me. Or at least Edge does. Can I hit him while this is happening too? Lava wave. Crap. That's going to be so painful. So painful, dude. Alright. No. No. Okay. Can someone... Can I pause with anyone? Thank you. Good lord, what was happening there? Alright, uh, let's see. Edge, you use candy on yourself. Well, I'm engulfed in fire over here. Get me out of this freaking... Oh, I saw the Reaper. Crap. Alright, well, Sydney, you're gonna have to go ahead and heal me up then. Let's see here. And, oh, you're gonna have to heal yourself up too. Actually, I didn't even notice that. 11 of 127. Probably worth, uh, something. Let's see, I'll just use chocolate. Whatever. Alright. No, 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 let me cast. Okay, thank you. Oh, gosh. Man, I went the long way around this circle. I really need to start learning my way better around those circle menus, man. Oh, I'm still controlling Sydney. I didn't even realize. Let's see. Alright, that wasn't too bad of a round. We're still relatively all high in HP. I just wish I knew how much HP this guy had. I mean, I could look it up, but that would kind of defeat the purpose of this being blind, wouldn't it? Did he take damage as soon as he appeared? Was that like a late attack damage thing? Yeah, if I can't kill him this time, then I I don't know what to tell you. I guess I'm just going to have to like level up those magic spells in order to beat him if I can't beat him this time. Alright, let's see here. Because I think this is probably the best round I've had against him thus far. I've used up all my freezes on him all that I can anyways. So now it's just a matter of trying to dole out enough melee damage, which is hard to do because he's always casting these fire spells on us. And I can't get much of a chance to do anything here. Alright, I'm going to have to go ahead and heal myself because I'm, I'm the biggest like melee damage dealer, even though that's like saying you're the biggest in this fight doesn't seem to be much. Uh, the rest of them, I think they'll be fine for now. Alright, where are you gonna reappear? Rematerialize, if it will. If it were. Dude, you freaking lava wave. If he get hurt by his own lava wave, that would be so awesome. But I don't think it happened. Uh, use that on Sydney. She's the one who deserves it the most, man. She keep, kept us alive through this whole fortress up to this point. Oh, Edge saw the Reaper. Well, you know what that means. Man, I still got three cups of life wishes. Well, two cups of life wishes left, so... I'm, I'm feeling kind of confident about this one. I don't know. I'm about to see, though. Oh, that is it! Oh, oh, for a minute, I didn't realize that that was actually him dying. I thought he was just casting another stupid spell, like Exploder Level 4. Level 4? What was that? Level 4. Like, come on, I just got magic, and you're throwing Level 4 crap at me? Way to go! Who said that? Was that just us saying that? Got the Axe's Orb. Nice, now it can power up Watt's Axe. Which was actually his weapon to begin with, the smelters, wasn't it? Yeah, so I guess we did just go through this door up here. Where'd that little gnome go? He's not down here anymore. Well, I, I suppose he would have gone up here then. Man, that guy was annoying, but I'm glad I... I'm, I'm actually really happy that I managed to persevere and beat him, because... Oh, this looks familiar. Let's see. <gasps> it's the seed! Oh my god, I didn't even realize. I, I should have, because they told me it was here. That oaf was always bugging. That's the perfect word for him, an oaf. That always that always describes big lumbering brutes who just tower over you in an intimidating manner. Uh, don't serve me, and maybe I'll forgive you. Otherwise, I'll throw you to my servant, Argon. Hey, dude, <laughs> you're so crazy. Uh, hey, who are you calling a servant? Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm talking about. Call me, beat me anytime, anywhere. Now close your eyes. 
Both you and your both you and your wife may summon me. We we can summon this guy and my wife. Uh <laughs> Uh, okay, um, <laughs> be married to that. <laughs> oh, Edge's wife. Okay, I thought he was talking to me, and I was kind of putting, putting a rock in a hard place there. So we can summon him now? What was... Got Gnome's powers. Cool. To the mana seed. Yeah, let's see if we can power up my sword a little bit more here. This is only the second one of these I've ever gotten, so I'm not totally sure what this will do. Receive the seed's power. Hey, Edge. What is he doing? Ow! My head. Oh, my hickin' back. You okay? Oh. What's wrong? Phew, I can remember everything now. What? Did you have an amnesia? We live in the Upperland Forest. Oh, yeah, because he didn't know where he came from. But now, apparently, he does, thanks to the seed's power. Got some crazy things. I'll let you hang out with me until we arrive. What a treat! <laughs> I guess I was supposed to be sarcasm there. So, we got... Man, that was... Chalk full of crap just here now. We got that seeds power. Does that actually power up my sword, like, attack-wise here? I'm not totally sure. I don't remember what it was before. It, I guess it would, though, wouldn't it? Oh my god, look at this. Yeah, we gotta go smelt that axe as soon as we can. And we got the gnome's powers. What does that even mean? Can I access those now? And like the magic? Yeah, there it is. Gnome. Let's see. We've got earth slide. Gem missile. Oh, gem missile. That's the one that stupid first boss used on me. I remember that. And speed down. What about Sydney? She can use them too, apparently. Are they the same spells exactly? Uh, no. There's stone saber. Speed up. And defender. Wow. So we just got a whole other ensemble of spells. Neato. Anyways, oh my god, I'm up to 40 minutes in this recording for this one episode. I know a lot of that's going to be cut out, because I have to cut out my trips back and all that nonsense. But I defeated the Fire Gigas. I don't know if that was meant to be as hard of a boss as I found it to be. Like, I honestly thought that was kind of worse than the Spiky Tiger, but I guess since you have magic at this point. Like, if you didn't have magic at this point, that would be pretty much impossible. Anyways, um, so I guess I'm just going to have to end it off here. I don't know what time I'm at in the actual video. Hopefully not too late. It'll be later if I keep rambling. Anyways, thanks everyone for watching episode 10 of Let's Play Secret of Man Blind. This is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you and good night.